The Costa del Sol is a place full of stories. Stories from those who visit us and also from those who decided to stay here forever. That's what happened to this Swedish-Argentinian couple, Richard and Dolores. Today, they will share their story with us. Um, my name is Dolores and I've been here in Spain for 14 years. My name is Richard and uh, I've been here on Costa del Sol now for 25 years, since 1996. I am from Argentina, uh, but I've been living in the US for a long time and then I moved here. So I just, I feel I'm becoming more Spanish. <laughs> I come from Sweden. Uh, my father's from Austria, my mom from Sweden, so a bit of a mix. Uh, but now I've more years in Spain uh, than in Sweden, so soon more Spanish. Uh, we met each other in uh, Miramar in uh, Fuengirola and uh, we had a Formula One car there and, and I was the manager of it and Dolores was working there. I saw him and I thought, wow, he's actually good looking. And even though it's forbidden in a workspace, we, uh, we got together and now been married for 11 years. I've played golf uh, from Sweden, uh, probably when I started when I was 18 years old and coming to Costa del Golf or Costa del Sol, uh, it's inevitable to, uh, to continue and play. So I'm a member in the course now and I try to play at least two to three times a week if I can. And uh, now my wife Dolores is, is starting to get into it as well and she actually has a better swing than I have. <laughs> Actually, here in Costa del Sol, you have so many golf courses. He really persuaded me to play golf, and that's the reason, really. Well, when we play, it's, uh, it's always tough. I mean, I play off handicap four, and my wife gets more shots than I do, so... It's always a little bit of tension. <laughs> Most of the times, I have to cook the dinner, because she beats me, <laughs> I have to say. It's a nice moment to, to spend four or five hours with each other on the golf course. The beautiful nature around and, and Dolores is very competitive in every sport. So uh, yeah, we, we have a good laughs and a few discussions. <laughs> a normal day for me would be going up early, have a nice cup of coffee and a cortado doble, which we always have in Spain, and uh, work my way down to the development that we're doing. And, and it's meeting clients, it's uh, sending emails to all the agents, uh, Dolores has done all the graphic design for the development, so we work a lot together, very close, and discussing how to make things look different uh, to the clients. It's very special. Um, it's so easy to, if you want to find inspiration, to go out and go for a beach walk. Um, I think it's, it's amazing to live here. There are so many places you can go hiking, We've been now and everything, uh, we've been up to La Concha a couple of times actually, but we found, uh, I would say, our favorite spot, uh, a spot now, which is uh, Castaño Santo, up past La Quinta, and it's a tree which is supposed to be way over a thousand years old. And there we go up and, uh, and sit down and bring our dogs and, uh, and enjoy the, uh, that feeling of this very old tree and, and the views up there. Very beautiful nature. When I travel, I go back to either Argentina or US or I even been to uh, Sweden many times and when you come back here it's so special it just feels like this is my home it that's why I came here and that's why I stayed it's just it's special the food here is just it's very nice because um, you have so much variation the, the fish here on the coast is spectacular. If you, if you find your favorite little restaurants to go down and sit on, and you get calamares, you get fresh rosada, you get the, the old classic gentleman standing and doing sardines on the boat. It's uh, looking out over the sea with a nice uh, albarino, with a nice glass of wine. It's, it's something you, you can't do in December in Sweden, for sure, because there you have polar bears walking on the street, basically. Uh, here it's sunshine. It's easy to find friends actually or to meet people, let's put it that way, because it's so many people that come from different places. All these beautiful things around and all the local people is being 
I have to say very laid back and that took some time for me to get used to but now I see friends coming from Sweden and I feel that they're so stressed and I just tell them relax a bit it's no problem so that's something beautiful about the people here there they learn to uh, not stress uh, which is good for you so I, I love that